Hello there. In this video, I'm going to review what I think is the best robot released to YouTube this season in FLL. I hope you enjoy the robot as much as I do. I don't know what the text on the screen actually uh, is. I don't know what language it is, but if you can read it, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you. Okay, so I have a little confession to make. I do not like the inspection area, because the robots that inspired me were these giant robots that had tons and tons of mechanisms and tons of noise they made. And these were the robots that I looked up to, which is partially why when you look at my robots, especially the 550-point robot I did with EV3, they're so big because that's really the what inspired me. And so I'm really happy to see a robot that is so sophisticated, does so much, because I feel like FL hasn't had a lot of these since they added that inspection area. The robot doesn't even leave the home area, and it extends a huge arm out that's going to do a whole bunch of things. I suspect that the robot uses a long rack and pinion mechanism to extend this arm out, as the motion is completely linear and constant speed. A rack and pinion mechanism is a mechanism where a gear engages a slider with teeth on it, and the teeth on the slider engage with the teeth on the gear, so that when the gear spins, it pushes the slider to one or the other side. Now this arm has another extension, and this extension is powered by the other motor. We can tell this because at the second extension, which is independent of the first one we were talking about, another mechanism on the south wall also moves. There's also a bunch of mechanisms that are triggered when the second extension begins extending. Now notice the second extension retract itself first before the first extension. So this one arm, which by the way is not the main robot, will score the theater scene change, it will collect Sam the stage manager, do the 3D cinema task, deliver audience members to the cinema and the theater, and it will later score the sound mixer. And collect Noah the sound engineer. Yeah, that's a lot to do, considering that's only one arm of the robot, and there is more that the robot will do on other parts. I honestly don't really know how they power the second extension on the north side of the robot, because it is so far away from the robot. The motor is not traveling with the other extension. I don't see any wires, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to have the motor travel either. I also don't think any spike prime wires are that long either. It also takes a decent amount of force to do the theater scene change, especially the way they did it, by pushing on the orange bar. And applying a lot of force really far away from the robot is incredibly difficult. It is difficult to tell how exactly the sound mixer mechanism works, but there is clearly something in the middle that probably stays up long enough to allow the other two sliders on the sound mixer to fall down a little bit, while keeping the middle one up in order to scale all three of the sliders. So this long south sliding mechanism that's going to grab the rolling camera is going to reach all the way down the track to reach the rolling camera, which, by the way, is roughly two feet away from where the robot is. Also, this slider is going to somehow dump an audience member off at the film set, and it's going to release another mechanism which is going to grab the ring pull for the film set boat and pull it into the position it needs to go, which will also pull the boat. 
By the way, I said that this mechanism operates at the same time as the second extension, yet somehow the second extension isn't moving here while the slider happens, and I honestly don't know how that happens, but yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, and I grabbed Noah the sound engineer on the way home. And the robot still fully fits in the launch area. All that to talk about the first program, let's move on to the next one. Notice that the immersive experience mechanism and the light show mechanisms both work at the same time. So when the immersive experience mechanism drops the immersive experience, the light show mechanism comes out. But also, both the light show and the immersive experience need a decent amount of force applied from the robot. And so this mechanism would have to be relatively robust or they would not work. This is actually not that easy to have two mechanisms that work at the same time, and both of them need to be robust enough to be able to apply enough force to actually do both of the tasks. Notice that the immersive experience mechanism moves at the same time as the light show mechanism when the light show mechanism is getting ready to lift up the light show. The other attachment motor flicks out a little arm to pull the lever on the augmented reality statue. Now to drop Noah the sound engineer and an audience member at the music concert, it appears that this robot is using a release mechanism. And I think what happens is this mechanism is triggered by the robot hitting the top side of the stage. And this will release some stored energy somehow that will eject Noah, the sound engineer, and the audience member away from the robot into the music concert. I'm not totally sure if this is how it's done, but it looks like that because I noticed nothing else seemed to have moved at the time. I do wonder if the mechanism that powers the thing that flips over the speaker lever also is powered by the motor that extends the little arm out to do the augmented reality statue. Although this is pure speculation, I honestly don't really know. The mechanism that lifts up the light show also has an extra spear on the side to grab Izzy the skateboarder. It also appears there is another thing that spins around to engage the gears for the chicken on the virtual reality artist. This final program will use two scissor jacks. One will pick up Emily, the VFX director, and deliver her straight to the cinema without the robot actually driving there directly, and another scissor jack at the same time will deliver Izzy the skateboarder and an audience member to the skate park. And scissor jacks, I've used them a little bit, are really annoying to use. They are complicated, they flex a lot, but I'm sure what this guy is doing will actually work. This is pretty crazy solution, but I have no doubt that this is actually a legitimate way to do this. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed my review of the robot, and I especially hope you thought this robot was as awesome as I did. Please do feel free to leave a like down below if you either don't like the inspection areas so that we could see more of these kinds of robots, or just like the video in general. Comment your favorite part of the robot or my video down below, and subscribe to this channel. Also, you can check me out at Fiverr if you want me to help your team succeed at the FL competition. And finally, Dooming, if you are watching this video, I hope that you release some explanatory videos on how this robot works, because I just had to guess as to what your robot actually did, but I'm sure it would be fascinating for not just my viewers, but everyone to see the workings of your machine. Let me know any other robot videos in FLL you want me to review in the comments down below. Thank you.